Hey, what is going on, YouTube? Red Blizzard here, and today I'll maybe be making a Elder Scrolls online video. And what I'm going to talk about is what I think one of the best healing moves in the game. Now, the best part about this is that any class has access to this ability. What it's called is called Healing Springs, if you haven't looked at the title below. And the actual normal version of it is Grand Healing. So if you want to find it, you're going to go to uh, your skill line, go to Weapons, and then go to Restoration Staff, and it'll be the first ability. It's called Healing Springs or Grand Healing, depending on what level you're at. Now let's look at it here. I'm Healing Springs level 4, so I'm maxed out on it. It's cast time is instant, target is a ground, uh, range is 28 meters, radius is 8 meters, duration is 3 seconds, and costs 230 magic. Now if you're a lower level, it'll probably cost less and it won't be as potent as it is from my level, which my level is Vet 14, so we're looking at this healing springs ability from a Vet 14's perspective. Now this ability is extremely good in it depends if if you have a peop, if you have a really good group it's really good in uh, the the veteran and regular dungeons if they group up because I can just heal them that way it's good in definitely right now currently it's good in AA or uh, Hell Ra or it's the uh, trials and it's pretty good in the Dragon Star Arena. Now let's read it. It says heals all allies in target area for 145 every second for three seconds. So what it's doing right now is healing uh, players for 145 and three seconds. So if I do the math, that's 435 heals every three seconds. Also, players gain 26 magicka for each ally in the area from up to three allies. So if there are three allies there. I will be making a total of 78 Magicka. So basically, if you do some math, it only really costs 152 Magicka, which is nothing, really. Now, it may sound bad, but it's actually really good because the best part about this ability, aside from the part that anybody can use it, is that it can stack up to three times. So, if it's 435 heals every three seconds for one time times that by three that's 1305 or 1305 heals in three seconds now it sounds pretty good granted that that heals about half of people's health in three seconds which is great plus the you gain 78 times three whatever that is 234 magic while you're doing that so technically you get a free cost a free uh, magic cost because it only costs 230 magic now if I use it it's like I said it's a ground target so you have to put it on the ground put it where everybody is now if you noticed my crit I have a crit of 272 and I have a normal of 163 healing and the the ability only says 145 so depending on how your build is it, it can actually be better now since i'm doing it at 163 uh healing springs at 163 it actually is 489 heals in three seconds and if i times that by three because you can stack it up three times i'm doing 1467 heals in three seconds. Now that's not counting the crit. Now if you if you got crit a hundred percent of the time, uh, times the uh, what is it? Two hundred and seventy-two times three. We're doing about eight hundred and sixteen heals. Uh, probably says crit heals in three seconds. Times that by three because you can stack it. You can do up to maybe even more if you build your class differently, but up to two thousand. 448 heals in three seconds so that is mind-boggling so basically you're healing the people who have 2400 health to 100 percent in three seconds and then you're healing most of the other guys for most of their health now the reason this is so much better than stats say like i'm getting 270 263 healing is and you notice that it's only 145 healing is because of the way i built this character now the worst part about this right now is that this ability goes off 
weapon damage because it's a weapon ability. And it goes off spell crit is the spell and max magicka. So it doesn't go anything with spell damage just yet. This is only as far as February. So maybe in March, uh, when update six comes out, well, they're, they're changing a lot of things around. So I'd have to mess around with it. But uh, the healing springs ability and all the other staff abilities will be going off spell damage, spell crit, and max magicka. So it can technically make it better but that is basically it i just wanted to talk about healing springs how i think it's the best ability in the game you just gotta know how to use it of course you don't if, if you have if you have your character your uh, group right here you don't want to heal them over here because they won't get any of it you want to be you want to heal it right on top of them eight meters of, is a big radius for it so it's actually not too bad so i really hope you enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe for some more videos Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't like it. And tell me why you chose either. And I will see you guys next time.